you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Hello, we will be looking at the Norma Kaba presentation. For Norma Kaba, there are multiple parts to it. Norma Kaba application that needs to be installed on a window machine. Then uh, Norma Kaba lock, Norma Kaba RFID in corner, and then Norma Kaba programming unit for the locks. Uh, let's first log into the IoT controller and we'll begin from there and we'll log in and here we log into there. So this is the dashboard for the IoT controller. What you're seeing right now is we have a four IoT access point. Among them, I have configured three uh, access point for the Norma Kaba mode. Let's take a look at one of the AP, how we change the mode from regular Zigbee to Norma Kaba. You will come down uh, to the mode. IoT AP as a default come up as a Zigbee. Uh, you would want to set to Norma Kaba Zigbee DK for the product uh, for, for the mode and click apply to set for the uh, for the Norma Kaba mode. We'll go to the admin tab to configure the plugin for the Norma Kaba. So we'll come to the plugin and we'll select a Norma Kaba and we'll activate the plugin. And then we'll enter the parameter for the Norma Kaba. Here is the Norma Kaba plugin. This is where parameter that you're pl uh, plugging in is for the Norma Kaba application login username. We will put the password for that and IP address for the Norma Kaba where it's installed. Then AMB host configuration port is 80, AMB auth path, AMB API path, and then finally um, AMB API more path. We'll apply it. Let's take a look at the plugin. Now we have successfully plug, uh, activated the Norma Kaba plugin. And as you will see, the status is now reachable. Let's go to the Norma Kaba application. So here we have a window server installed on this machine. And we have also installed Norma Kaba application. This is the Norma Kaba application. This is the home page of the Norma Kaba application. We have a guest registration, a report, staff, and then respectively for staff key, property builder, property builder, that's where you go and configure the number of rooms you have for your hotel. Device management, that's where you go in and see your IoT access point or you can say gateway. Norma Kaba calls access point as a lock. System keys, there are, there are many different types of system keys that you can configure. And then access management, programming and auditing and others you have role management system settings notification monitor and a staff key we will look at each of these items in uh, quick detail guest registration that's where you go and check in for the rooms i have already checked in there are four rooms 104 105 106 107 then we'll go back uh, we'll look at the device management device management we have an encoder. Encoder will allow you to make electronic card key. And then we have a gateway configuration where I have, as you have seen, we have a three gateways uh, are configured. So we'll click on the registered gateway and a pair access point to see how many gateways we have online. And as I mentioned, I have installed uh, and configured three gateways for the Norma Kaba. And you can see three gateways are uh, showing up on a ambience application. So now we select one gateway and we'll, we'll try to onboard one of the Norma Kaba lock. We'll select one gateway and we'll send, we'll send the pairing on command. So that way the scan window will pop up in an IoT controller. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're sending the gateway and we did that. And now we will see in IoT controller, that's when the scan window has popped up. And we're going to tap the RF pairing key card. And then we have done that. And as you will see, and now it will show up on a scan window of the IoT controller. And it did. And we'll put the name of the lock, lock 104. And we'll go ahead and accept to complete the, the connection operation. And now we're going to stop the scanning. And now we'll look under the IoT device to see if the lock has showed up. And it sure did. We have a lock 104 online. And you can see the type is a Norma Kaba lock, DK lock. Now we'll go back to the Norma Kaba uh, ambience application. 
Now we'll see, see if the uh, lock has come online or not. We'll click on the registered gateway and paired access points. And here we have one access point online. We have a three gateway and one access point on a lock. Rona Kaba call lock as an access point. We'll try to see and we'll click on the next two access point to see the lock. And we have a lock 104 online. As you can see, status is green and it's online.